welcome back to my channel and if you are new around here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button that way you're going to be kept up to date with all of our weekly art classes and you will be notified every time we post a new one so are you looking for quirky and fun nail art well you're in luck you found it in today's video i'm going to teach you how to create an easy and beautiful design that has been inspired by universe nails fluffy clouds, twinkling stars, and sunsets. I couldn't decide what I loved more, fluffy clouds or universe nails. So this is what happens when universe nails and fluffy clouds have a baby and the magical night sky is born. So grab your stuff, meet me back here because we're about to go stargazing. Okay guys, you're going to need to grab a couple of supplies so that we can get started. So go ahead and grab your Nail Nerd Gel Polish. I've used the shade Sapphire. You'll need your matte top coat, a gloss top coat, your JGM Pro Series liner brush, your TNN gel paint, some isopropyl alcohol and of course an LED lamp to cure it all in. So to begin with, we're going to apply two thin coats of the Nail Nerd Gel Polish to the entire nail surface. I'm using the shade Sapphire and I'm just being mindful that I'm applying it nice and thin so that we don't run into any problems with lifting or bubbling or anything like that and I'm giving it a full cure of one minute in between each coat. Next up we want to make sure that we've got the perfect surface to work on guys so go ahead and apply a thin coat of matte top coat and then we just cure that for one minute in an LED lamp if it's got an inhibition layer, clean that off first so that we can go in to start creating our clouds that have been inspired by the sunset. So what we're going for here guys is some nice pink fluffy clouds just like what you would expect to see as the sun's going down. Okay, so the first thing we do is using a medium pink and our JGM Pro Series liner brush, we're going to start creating that bubbly cloud shape, but we're leaving it open at the bottom. That's so that we can come in and start blending that cloud down until it dissipates into nothing. So in order to do that, we want to use a brush like this one. It's kind of like a blending eyeshadow brush but it's really tightly compacted, okay? And you can see it's nice and round and it's really stiff. Um, that is gonna be perfect to use for this look. So what we do is we use it on a 90 degree angle and we're just gonna dab at the line. And we're just going to gen um, gently and gradually bring that line down until it starts to blend out to nothing. You want to be a bit careful when you're doing this part too that a you don't use too much pressure as if we do use too much pressure it's going to remove too much of the gel we're not trying to remove it we're just trying to blend it down and b you don't want to go outside the other side of the line if that makes sense so you want to keep your brush on the inside of the cloud okay if we go over then it's going we're not going to have that sharp line that we're looking for at the top of the cloud So once you're satisfied that your clouds are fluffy enough, please go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds in an LED lamp. And then we're going to go in and do the same thing but with a lighter pink. So mix up a pastel pink now and make sure it's nice and light. And what we're going to do is we are going to do exactly the same thing as we did with the medium pink clouds but we're going to step it out a little bit further, okay? So that it looks like one's in front of the other. Um, but one thing to bear mention as well is you wanna make sure that your light pink cloud is far enough down from the first cloud so that we can see that, that beautiful gradation that occurs in between the two clouds, okay? We don't wanna cover up all of our, our beautiful blending. That's not what we want at all. So. Once we've done that, once again, please be careful that you're not putting this brush above the line, okay? We want to blend out the bottom of the cloud, not the top of the cloud.
Okay guys, once your white paint clouds are nice and fluffy and they have blended out seamlessly, go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds in your LED lamp. And then my camera actually stopped recording guys, so this part isn't on camera, but please apply a top coat and then cure for one minute. So moving on, the reason why we have applied the top coat, and we're now going to start painting the remainder of our design on top of a top coat, is because I wanted to put a little bit of distance in between the clouds and the twinkling stars and the moon. Okay, so by applying that top coat and then curing it, that has given us just a couple of millimetres um, of distance in between the clouds and the stars. So it's going to really feel like the design is going to be popping, okay, that everything is really going to look more layered and it's going to look, yeah, it look, just looks more interesting. So what I'm doing now is I am starting to paint a crescent moon. So the easiest way to paint a crescent moon is by starting in the middle and we paint the top half of the crescent going up and tapering out um, and then we go back to the middle and we go down and taper out okay now the easiest way to do that is by using um, alternating our pressure so our pressure is the heaviest in the center and then we ease up on our pressure as we get to the edges which is what causes the line to taper off to a sharp point now I bet you're wondering why I've just drawn a straight line. So the answer to that question, my love, is really simple. It's going to keep us on track. It's actually a very simple shape, a crescent moon. So it's surprising how easy it is to actually overdraw your lines when you're trying to paint one. And before you know it, you're overcorrecting and you've got a full moon instead of a crescent. So by applying that line, um, and using it as a guideline, it keeps me from going too far over. Do you know what I mean? So what we do is we paint the light down and then in the center of that line, we curve it around until it meets up with each point. And then we just color it in. Now that the moon is out of the way and done and dusted, what night sky is complete without twinkling stars? So I do a mixture of twinkling stars and then just smaller stars as if they're in the distance, um, like dot, just dots and I leave them as dots. So the first thing I do though is I apply the twinkling stars first, okay, because I like to... Um, put the bigger elements of the design in first so that we can work the rest of the design around the parts that I want to stand out. So the dots that I've just applied, I'm going to turn into twinkling stars by dragging the brush through the dot, easing up on my pressure until it um, tapers off to nothing. And I'm going to do that without adding any more uh, gel to my brush, okay? So what I'm doing is literally just using the gel that is on the nail in the dot. Well, that's it guys. We have finished our night sky. How gorgeous is this look? So chuck it back into the lamp to give it a final cure of 30 seconds and use your top coat uh, and you're done. So as part of the set, you'll notice that there was a character as well. I called her Millie and what I'm going to show you now is exactly how I've painted Millie. Now this part of the design was actually in the Nail Nerd Club this week. So for those of you who don't know what the Nail Nerd Club is, it's basically exclusive access to more in-depth classes. So if you want to see the full version of this design and have me talk you through it from start to finish, then head on over to the website and sign up to the Nail Nerd Club guys 
Because do you know what the best part is about being a club member? Not only do you get 10% off all of the um, Nail Nerd products, but you can also give me requests. So if there is something in particular that you want to learn how to do, you simply shoot me through a message and I will, as long as I know how to do it, I will make you a tutorial specifically on that. And in fact, that's why last week's theme was marble because one of our beautiful club members um, expressed to me that she'd like me to do a marble class. So how could I say no? <laughs> so if this is something that interests you and you think that you want to give it a whirl, I'm going to put the link to the club in the description. So head on over to the website, guys. I hope to see you in the club soon. And anyway, that is all from me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Love you guys. Have an amazing week. And I will see you next week for more fun.